Good afternoon, this is group 19 and our senior project proposal will be on microbial enhanced oil recovery. Um, my name is Cody Harris. Um, microbial enhanced oil recovery is a tertiary oil recovery method that involves injecting microorganisms or microbially produced surfactants into a reservoir to increase oil recovery. Um, our interest in this topic um, came from the idea that there must be a more efficient, more environmentally friendly, and a more cost-effective tertiary oil recovery method. Upon doing our research, we noticed that the benefits of microbial injection fundamentally rely on the injected species biosurfactant production level. These biosurfactants um, will decrease surface tension inside the reservoir and lead to increased oil recovery. Um, microbial injection has been around for quite some time, but it has not been fully accepted as an enhanced oil recovery method by everyone because of its issues with my transportation, uh, transportating microbes and the nutrients needed to feed them. Um, in our proposal, we will clearly illustrate the benefits of MEOR and the current industry consensus. Um, this figure um, shows the concept behind MEOR. There's four injection wells uh, around the producing well. These injection wells are injecting microbes into the reservoir, and given time, they will um, produce biosurfactants, which will lead to increased oil recovery in the producing well. Um, the environmental benefits of MUR have already been clearly shown uh, through past research. Um, and also the economic benefit of MUR is shown to the left um, by the start. Um, the incremental oil cost in um, dollars per barrel of increased recovery is less than other tertiary oil recovery methods, such as surfactant injection, polymer injection, thermal injection, and CO2 injection. Um, notwithstanding uh, the fact that also um, the total recovery of, of MEOR, uh, MEOR increased the total recovery of around 65% in this test. Um, as the environmental benefits and the economic benefits have already been shown, our research will um, focus on the overall effectiveness of MEOR and increasing recovery. The background of our project is about uh, MEOR. MEOR is, uh, is a method of uh, tertiary ter or recovery. Uh, that was uh, um, theorized uh, in 1926 and uh, and fully developed uh, during 1940. Um, uh, even though we still studying in the past and food trial, MEOR is not having fully accepted in our industry. Um, from uh, for for our research, we have seen clear abundance uh, of data on topic yet is not complete and ex uh, completely accept by the oil industry. The more research uh, must done as MUR could have a huge impact in the oil in industry. Um, introduction to our project, um, when a well is not uh, producing at a economically rate, um, uh, we have to do something with the well. Um, we have to apply external force to uh, to the reservoir. Um, there is four methods to do this: was gas injection, thermal injection, chemical uh, injection, and uh, plasma. Uh, our project was uh, fo mainly focused on uh, chemical injection, um, specifically on micro uh, bio spe species. Um, Microbial species effect on reservoir flow uh, property. Um, they uh, have been around for quite uh, for quite some time now, but it's still not been fully uh, accepted in um, enhanced oil recovery um, because of the uh, because we have to apply the right uh, microbes as well as their nutrients. Uh, another ba another benefit of have um, another benefit is a low cost. Uh, when purchase them, they are not expensive as a uh, compressor or any other artificial lift method. Um, in our proposal, we will we will clearly illustrate the benefit of MEOR. I'm Alan Bukowitz. I'm a senior petroleum engineer right now. And for the execution plan, um, thanks to Dr. Williams, he put us in contact with uh, Tatiana Mayo. She's a mechanical engineer researching 
uh, bioprocessing and control engineering, applied to biofuels and plastic production from bacteria. So he put us in contact with Theracos after contacting a bunch of companies. We, they weren't going to let us use their microbes or like they weren't really open to let, it, to let us know where we could find them. So Tatiana seems pretty open to using for us to let us to use her microbes. So we're going to use the strain of E. coli called Escherichia coli BL21DE3, which has never been tested before. Um, so we're pretty excited about that. Um, then for the in terms of the lab, we talked to Dr. Rao and some of his TAs, and we are pretty confident that they're going to be able to let us use uh, PETI 4050A Chevron Reservoir Mechanics Laboratory for the spring semester of 2019. Um, we're also um, possibly making sand packs by ourselves. So we're just going to get a bunch of sand and just pressurize it, and then that's what the cores that we're going to be using. So in terms of the decision making for our presentation, we're going to first look at previous technical papers and see how they conducted the project. And also we're going to use our previous knowledge from our freshman year to now and our research just what we think is going to be like the best um, microbe or like the best analysis on the microbe. So right here is a picture of the Chevron Reservoir Mechanics Laboratory. What you're looking at now is the schedule for next semester that we have planned. As you can see, it goes by weeks. <clears throat> In week one, we have Juan Bukowitz. He's obtaining the micro sand packs and various materials that we need to set up in the lab to conduct this lab. While Cody will reserve the lab, Trung and I will actually physically set up the lab. And then all of us will have to gather together into the lab to do our last minute research and set up the exact procedure we'll follow. And then the second month, as you can see, the four weeks <clears throat> proceeding, we're going to take turns uh, recording data because we have to let the microbes sit inside the, uh, the cores to fully develop. We have Juan going the first week, I go the second week, Cody goes the third week, then Trung goes. The third uh, part of the project is cleaning up the lab, and this would include transferring at all the data to the computers, making sure the 4058 Chevron Mechanics Lab is exactly how it was when we got there. Uh, this would include all of us as a team after setting up the diagrams from all the data from the computers. Then we, set, we would set up the presentation the third week of the last week of March. And uh, by the first week of April, we plan on reviewing and approving the presentation as well as practicing the presentation. And then the second week, we plan on practicing the presentation all week. And that concludes our schedule. This is the Gantt chart with it. It goes all the way from week one to 13. Good afternoon, my name is Christian Yeves. I'm one of the four seniors conducting the project on microbial injection, and I'm here to talk about the deliverables. <clears throat> so our main goal, everyone knows, uh, after safety comes money. We're trying to find out uh, the complete cost analysis of the microbes. This would include like the micro cost, the cost to store them, the time to breed inside or outside of the hole, the time it takes to inject them, and then if the flow rate even increases enough to even do this. <clears throat> the highlighted data we'll be obtaining from the three cores tested in the 4858 <clears throat> Chevron Reservoir Mechanics Lab will be the flow rate, the various fluids produced, and the various rock and fluid property changes, which include permeability and surface tension. So as of right now, the lab and the microbes, like they're all gonna be given to us. So really the only thing we might have to worry about is the sand pack course. So, but then again, there could be other anomalies coming into the equation. So as of right now, this is the budget that we came up with. And we think it's gonna be pretty simple. Um, if we, for some reason, we can't make the sand, the sand packs ourselves, we might have to outsource it and have a third party vendor. Um, we might have to get that from them. So. Our plan after that, like this might change in the future, but for now, like this is their um, up-to-date budget for our project. 